Hey there, my name is Drew Brashler, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to utilize the X Dante card of the Behringer X32 to get audio going into Waves Super Rack and back into the console as an insert using those aux in insert points on the X32. If you're brand new to my channel, I'm all about helping you feel more confident in your production gear no matter where you're starting from. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to utilize the X Dante card, which my last video showed you guys how to actually install that and get that set up. And there's a link in the description if you need to watch that video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to utilize that expansion card with the Dante and have my audio going out of my channel as an insert going to the card, going out through Dante into my laptop, going into Dante Virtual Sound Card on my laptop, then into Waves Super Rack Native, and then going back all the way back to the console. Now, the latency in total on this is around 10 milliseconds. Now that's with the X Dante card sitting at the 0.25 millisecond setting on that card right there, which you can set inside of Dante Controller. My Dante Virtual Sound Card on my laptop is set to four milliseconds. And so that's the, the, the smallest latency that you can get on Dante Virtual Sound Card on my laptop is that. And then inside of Waves Super Rack Native, I am running a sample rate at 48 kilohertz, which matches this, and my buffer is set to 32. Now, that is quite a quick buffer, but if you end up taking that buffer and expanding it, say, to 128 samples for your buffer, that actually adds about four milliseconds. And so that's a little bit of a of a downside is if you don't have a fast enough computer, you probably won't be able to run too many plugins. But in the situation that I'm wanting to do here, I'm only wanting to process six channels because the X32 only has six insert points. Now, there's other ways of doing it, taking it directly off the inputs and going all 32 to waves, and that's gonna be a different video. But this video is just setting up it as inserts. So let me run you through how to actually get this set up. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to setup and we're going to see that we have our X Dante card here. And then we, we are going to do is we're going to go to routing and we are going to tab over to card. Now, what I would like to do is I wouldn't want to set this to user out. So we're just going to be showing one through eight today. So next thing I'm going to do is tab all the way over to user out and set this to be aux out one, two, three, four, five, and six. So now that we have that set, we need to get the audio coming back from the card into the console. And to do that, we're going to tab all the way over until we get to our input block. And we're gonna take our aux ins from our card. So we're going to go card one through six, and we can press connect. So what we've done is we've set it up so that if we do an insert on a channel, it will send out the card to my Dante network, and then the Dante network will come back into the aux ins. Now, the only downside of this is it does take up your aux inputs. So if you need to utilize that, unfortunately, this probably isn't going to be the best thing for you, but we're just going to be showing how to get the insert side of this going. So I have a microphone here on my channel one, check, check, check. And if we go ahead and turn that up, we can hear it, check, check, check. There we go, and so what we can do is we can press view on the configuration and preamp section, and we can go all the way over to our right rotary knob, and we can rotate this down until we get to aux one. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to press connect, and then we're going to press the fifth rotary knob that says insert. And so now at this point, when I talk into this mic, check, 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 we will see it here, but we won't see it on our meters because we're not sending any of this back into the console. So now it's time to go over to Waves and Dante Controller. So here's my laptop over here, and I have my Dante Virtual Sound Card sitting here. We can see that I'm doing an eight by eight, so that means eight in and eight out at four milliseconds. This is a direct connection into the primary port of the X Dante card. 
So in Dante Controller, we can see that we have 32 channels of receivers and transmitters on the X32, and then our eight and eight on my laptop. So the easiest way to patch inside of Dante Controller is to go to the device view. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to my laptop, and we are going to open up the X32 here. So we can see that I can simply just drag and drop into a input. And so we can then drag the rest of them. So I'm just gonna go two through eight and drop them here. And so we can see that I have signal on this microphone. Check, 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 check. And we can see that there is signal on Dante controller here because this is green. The next thing that we need to do is we need to go to the X32 and route my Dante channels from my laptop to the board. So we're going to select one through eight, and we're just simply going to drop them right there. The next thing that we want to do is we want to go into SuperRack Native. And we can see that I have my audio set up as Dante Virtual Sound Card. My buffer size is 32. And we can then go over into our overview. So now we have our racks here. And so this is gonna be my vocal one mic. So I'm going to go to my input and go from mono, and that's going to be input one. And it's automatically going to route it to the output of one. And so if we go back to my console here with my microphone, if I go check, 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 you will see it here in the meters. So we now have a completed insert loop. And if we want to hear it without waves, all we have to do is press the insert, and now I am back to the patch with this microphone going into this channel without waves. Now let me show you the rest of waves real quick to show you. So we're gonna insert this again, and we're going to go back over to my settings here. And so we can see that if I click into my F6, we can see me talking here. Now, what if we wanted to get our left-right bus going to this? Well, it's the same thing. We're just going to utilize two inputs and two outputs. So we can go and select our left-right bus, and we can see that we have our inserts here. And so we're going to rotate this all the way down until we get to aux five and six. And this is on the configuration tab. And so what we can do is we can select aux five, and we can press insert and I would suggest having this be post. And so now what we have is the ability that we have inserted two, so it's gonna be using five for left and six for right. And so what we can do is we can go all the way over to our SuperAct native, go to our overview, and we can select stereo, five and six. And then we can then select the output as stereo, five and six. So at this point, we have completed the path. We are sending to SuperRack, and then SuperRack is sending back through Dante back to here. Now again, this is adding 10 milliseconds of delay. So if you do need to have your timing really short, for instance, if you're using in-ear monitors for your band and your vocalists are singing on that, you might want to send before this insert on waves. That means that we would have to process that vocal in the channel before we send it off to waves and then coming back. That way our musicians up on stage can hear them without much latency because that's always important. But if you're running front of house in a little bit of a larger venue, like mid-size to a large venue, 10 milliseconds of delay isn't going to be a game changer. The benefits outweigh the cons, in this case, with having our super rack as an insert. So this is a quick way of getting our X32 with Dante set up with our super rack over here. It gives us the ability of having six sends to multi-rack and six sends back. So that it can either be six mono or three stereo. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you happen to have any questions or want to have a video that I make for you in the future, go ahead and drop that in the comment section below as I'm always reading through those comments to find something that's going to be helpful for you with my next video. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel or consider becoming a member of my channel as a way to say thank you for the videos that I'm making for you. Also check out drewbrashler.com for more articles and information on all of this. I hope you have a great day.